Welcome back to our Prophecies Run playthrough. I just finished Thirsty River. Pretty awesome uh, co-op event. And of course it brings us back to Augury Rock, this kind of ascension staging area. And today we need to head to the third mission area called Dunes of Despair. It's somewhere down here. Uh, but on the way, we're going to finish this 15 attribute points quest. Should be able to knock two, two, two birds with one stone kind of situation. We picked we first picked up this quest south of Augury Rock. A little bit over here on the where my cursor is on the horizon. There's a guy, uh, one of the Yasith brothers gives you this attribute points quest. Very important quests you need to do in order to fully max out your character. So we're gonna we're gonna try and knock it out while on the way to Dunes of Despair. Uh, we build out our henchmen. We are gonna use double healing or double monk henchmen, as that was kind of brought to our attention by Tar Heel, our expert Guild Wars commenter, commentator, and also following his recommendation of our skill bar, we're gonna go full degeneration illusionist with some energy interrupts energy energy renewal plus interrupts it'd be a pretty sweet build i'm gonna put his his recommendation to the test uh hopefully we don't get lost i think i think i pretty much remember how to get there I, like dunes of despair i'm pretty sure it's just straight south here we're gonna head through the arid sea try to avoid some enemies Definitely do not want to fight four Hydra. Oh, we're going to have to fight at least one. Try this up. And, uh, oh. No. Can I make it? Uh, let's just fight him. Let's just do it. Oh. We've been interrupting. Yeah, nice. Degeneration. Interrupt! Oh no, that's okay. Having the having the single fighter, he's gonna be pulling aggro a little bit as long as he rushes in. We kind of want him to rush in to hopefully hopefully aggro a meteor on himself. A little bit about this build we just our job is just to stack degeneration as much as possible get some interrupts off heal some energy this channeling skill we've used it before it's pretty nice as long as you get into basically melee range whoops but the other thing that Tar Heel pointed out was one of the healing skills. I can't remember if it's from Lena or Alicia. Does bone does some uh, it procs some extra healing as long as she targets a uh, ally who's enchanted. So as long as we're enchanted, we're gonna get that bonus from her healing. So that's some interesting synergy that was pointed out. Very nice catch. Also in Thirsty River, we capped our first elite signet, or our elite skill, Mantra of Recovery. I didn't really talk about it. It's pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever used this skill at all in Guild Wars. It kind of, kind of seems like it doesn't do much, but that 33% recharge uh, increase, it just lets me spam my skills so crazy fast. Very worth it. Need to make sure I keep it up. Look how fast! Like, did you see? It? Keep it. Keep an eye on my skills. When I have this stance up, like, look at that! Did you see how fast that went up? Crazy. Like, like having a cheat on or something. Want to keep it? Keep an eye on how fast his health degenerates. Look at that. Look at that. Clumsiness, of course, very nice skill to have for anti-melee. Very spammable. Whoops, I meant to use energy tap. 
I should probably I should probably start the battle with Phantom Pain actually now that I'm thinking about it. Phantom Pain first so that it it procs that um, deep wound. And we just picked up some Yeah, I don't I don't know if any of these are worth any money. One thing I did, uh, I, I should have recorded it, but I had a bunch of materials and I went to the materials merchant. Look how much gold I get I, I got from selling them. I learned that like glittering what is it called? Glittering um like I'm losing focus here. Hold on. What are they called? Glittering dust. Piles of glittering dust. If you get you just have 10 piles of glittering dust it sells to the merchant for like almost 500 gold oh i'm getting confused with the icons power drain to me looks just like energy tap for some reason I'm getting like skill blindness because they're all purple they're just sort of blending together <laughs> Very nice. Orion also has um I moved the skill bars around but I still cast Phantasm first. Noob Orion also has uh interrupted what I was trying to say. He uses Meteor. And uh Stefan also has an interrupt. One of his slashes interrupt the enemy all right we are to the arid sea i think he was right uh Tar Heel mentioned having two healers not a big deal kind of a wasted skill to have a self-healing here i figured out and there's the statue on the horizon um also the comments we're gonna we're gonna pay a visit to that statue here in a second. Very iconic landmark for the Crystal Desert. I'm not sure if it's the way they designed the model, but even though it appears that this statue is standing, as we get closer, I think it falls over. Which you can tell by that left leg. You can tell at any second it's gonna topple over. Okay. Get closer. It'd be kind of cool if they animated it, but it might. That might be the reason why they did it that way, but. Well, I guess it doesn't fall over. Why am I thinking that it falls over? No, oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, boom, it's gone. I, I bet you originally they had designed it to be like this cool thing that happens as you get closer. It just sort of topples over on itself. Oh, I can't interrupt those because they're skills, not spells. All right, not a big deal. Just put clumsiness on them. So this build deceptively does a lot of damage. Just can't really see it because there's no damage numbers popping up except for clumsiness. But it certainly does, over time, this degeneration do a lot of damage. Sir Kaufman, what are you collecting? You're a ghost. What do you even need to collect? Ooh, healing seed. That's a good one to interrupt. There we go. Let's take out the healer first. Getting lots of energy from this. Oh, I wanted to interrupt that. Darn it. 
This build is really cool, how fast it can cast. Mantra of Covery is just crazy. And at 15 second recharge time, with the 15 second uh, duration, we can keep it up 100%. 100% up time, as they say. The other, the other material that sold really well was iron ingots, which I think we get from Trunch. Yeah, having ten iron ingots, I think that sells for almost like three hundred or something gold. So anyway, we sold only a few uh, materials and we got over ten platinum. Do I not have any jaw bells? I really think we're going to have to wait. So that's who we need to talk to. How do we get up there? I think we're going to need to wait until we get to Drachnar's Forge to get our max armor. Shame. Ember. Ooh. Thought he was alone. I guess he was not. Once I put the max degeneration up, I kind of just freely change targets because they're as good as dead. It's only a matter of time. And four sand giants. Interrupted my energy gain. Clumsiness is good versus them. Because it interrupts the attack. As long as I cast it. Where they're connected. Or close to each other, I mean. How do we get over there? I feel like we're going the wrong way. Keeping our degeneration up. Spamming our spells. Some of these scare the rock eater scarabs are actually warriors, not necromancers. Okay, yeah, we're looping around here. We're going the right way. Channeling is always good against these melee scarabs. It's almost unlimited energy that way. Very quick damage. It is stillless acid. Oh, I guess this is not the way to go. Uh, do we have to go all the way over on this side and then like walk across the bridge? Is that what? Uh, that makes sense, I guess. All right, let's just avoid these guys then. Well, I guess we can't avoid everyone. Guys, have to do everything. Oh, there's a Jade Scarab. 
So having both of these on, it gives him eight, minus eight health degeneration for 10 seconds. Very strong combo. Yeah, we have to go up there, then cross over Statue's body. I can't really tell who's doing the stomping, so I haven't been able to interrupt him. Take that guy out. No, just do a little bit more damage. Okay. The cactus. Healing seed. My the uh the phantasm and phantom pain also counter healing seed. Healing Seed, if I remember correctly, is every time the Enchanted Ally takes damage, it heals them. So it's... Healing Seed's a really good counter for, like... Uh, damaging attacks. But Degeneration does not damage. Um, brown Boots. Nice. <laughs> Okay. I wish there was a way to tell like how much gold I've gained from picking up gold. Because I mean it's split between the party. But I've picked up a lot of gold. Be interesting to see what that number is. Like if it's it is even like significant number or not. Yanel. Wasn't that like a meme? What was it? The like the name that you're hearing, Laurel or Yan Yanis? Is that it? Laurel, Yanis. Remember what I'm talking about? All right, this is the statue. This is the bridge. Cool. I need to take a quick screenshot here. Somewhere. Oh, it's not very impressive if I'm clipping through the texture. There's the head. But yeah, I think as we were approaching, I think they wanted to make it to where, like, the statue is falling down in front of you, but... This sort of happens suddenly. Looks kind of silly. Here we go! 15 attributes. Boom, I sense that you have come to me seeking forgotten wisdom. Oh, I'm not going to do that every time. <laughs> now then that we for we've forgotten were the first race to rule Tyria. During our reign, the world was at peace until your people came. What do you mean by your people? Until the humans came. Okay. We could not compete with the savage humans and were slowly driven into this desert where we met our future master, the great... Crystal Dragon Glint. Oh, Glint is their master? It is she who you must seek if you wish to ascend. I sense a deep goodness within you, and it would please me if you were to succeed in your quest. Allow me to unlock some of your inner potential. 15 attributes. Ta-da! Cool. So, these serpents, Forgottens, they serve Glint. I did not know that. Or their master is gone. Does that mean Glint created them? Or they just think Glint is a really cool person? Oh, what am I doing? 
15 attributes we will we'll put it into inspiration i think is good where it's at let's use let's just get fast casting back up very cool all right we're gonna continue the dunes of despair question is how do we get there i think it's down on there somewhere go back across the excuse me lady don't mind me just climbing across your body decapitated body and your amputated leg kind of funny because also the way it falls down you did like a little twist right like this is the right leg that's the right foot like how exactly how exactly did she fall physics majors is this possible let me know in the comments below <laughs> she like she like did like a pirouette while falling end up with her left leg still standing and her right leg lined up with her left leg very weird Another statue over here. I'm gonna do some exploring. Oh, we went this way. So that's a dead end over there. Over there. Let's just go backtrack a little bit. I might have to speed this up a little bit. Alright, we're exploring, but it looks like... What is this over here? Looks like there's some teleporter thing over here. What is this? This portal leads to the desolation. Uh, a deadly wasteland shrouded in poison. Oh, this leads... Oh, right. This leads to... Alona. So what happens if we try to portal? We just can't go. Interesting. That's cool. So it's a one-way portal. We can't go... To... There from... We can't go to Alona from Tyria, but we can go to Tyria from Alona only. Oops. Oh my gosh. This is rough. Our teammates are not doing their jobs get some more iron i think by salvaging this yeah look at that so that's almost like but that's that's like 500 gold right or 300 gold right there sitting in the form of iron ingots all right this looks promising Looks like an old teleporting platform. Alright, there's an NPC here. Good sign. Vulture drifts. Okay, I think I think we're going the right way. Random materials salesman here. Vulture drifts is an exploration zone. But I believe it's on the way to Dunes of Despair. Oh, look at all those sand giants. What are you collecting, Carl Jacobs? Jawbones. Everyone's collecting jawbones. Very nice staff for me. Not gonna use. Okay, let's take out this. I thought that was one mob. It's only two mobs together.
Nice. Oh, so Leech Signet interrupts the action. It doesn't matter what it is. That's very nice. And then Power Drain only blocks skill. Or spell, rather. What do we get for salvaging? What do we just pick up? Uh, idol. Bones. Uh, those are not worth very much. Those are worth like 40 gold, I think. I think we better go up this way. This looks more like a road than anything. Even though, like, the sand and the texture, the desert's texture is very plain, I really think they did a good job on the level design for Crystal Desert. They made it, you know, there, there's some areas that are just only sand. There's some like this one. This looks very different than anything we've seen so far. What the heck? Oh, it's a worm. We're in suddenly in the movie Dune, so that's cool. The sound effects almost similar to the movie Dune, isn't it? I saw the first one once. I feel like it sounds similar. deep wound action on him. Get him. A whopping 23 experience. I feel like that's not going to be the first worm that we kill. <laughs> right. Oh, now there's two of them. I think we can handle them. Focus one at a time, guys. I guess we can't. The Leech Sickness does not interrupt a basic attack, though. I just used it, it didn't interrupt him. Kinda lame. For some reason my hexes do not last very long against them. We get no we did not. I was at full health. What happened? But they heal every time they go under. Annoying. They heal and they lose their hexes and their conditions and they go under. But for worms, it's better to just do flat damage rather than do condition and hex damage to them. Because they heal every time. Look at my basic attacks to zero damage. Very annoying enemy, I would say. Yeah, I don't know what's better. They have a ton of armor. Every time they go underground, they're healed and, you know, condition X healed. Oh, we're there. I see the glowing, the glowing sign. Oh, how do we get down there? Oh, how do we go? Right there. Uh, we have to go all the way around, I guess. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of that. I think. Okay. Oh, they're in a group together. Wow, oh, it came a long distance. No, interrupt! Dang it.
Got the double interrupt there. We're cooking. How do- okay. Almost there. No, how do we get down there? Can't get down there from up here. I really don't want to backtrack, so let's just just go all the way around here. Maybe it'll lead to something. I feel like the routes I'm taking are very, very weird compared to most people. There's a bridge. Looks like something out of Mad Max, this area. I feel like we're just right there. Must have missed something. Interesting, this sand elemental does earth magic and air magic. Doesn't make the most sense, I must say. attacking us from down there no he can't see he can't hit us from down there loser Got him. Okay, so somehow we need to go all the way around. down there buddy try and loop around here oh there's a boss hang stone cut probably doesn't have an elite skill so I'm not missing anything and we really have to go all the way around here Teleporter. That's a good sign. How'd that, get, how'd that scarab get poisoned just now? I don't think we have any... I don't think we have any party members that cause poison. Weird. Alright, what is it? Three, one, four, two. Four. Let's go, let's run for it. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Up 
eruption hurts. Like an AoE. AoE damage over time spell. The other thing is when they use Frenzy, that's the other bad thing about Degeneration is I don't get any damage bonus whenever they use Frenzy. Usually they take double damage, but I don't deal damage. Yeah, what poisoned him? Something poisoned him again. Does, does Necromancer have a skill that does like self-poisoning? Must be it, right? Or maybe Claude has a poisoning skill? I'm just now noticing. Ugh. Deathly Swarm, Shadow Strike. Yeah, no poison spell. We're heading the right direction. Ah, oh, got dazed. Concussion shot. 25 energy. Wow, that's a lame skill. Take him out. Get him. Okay. We're on the right track. Almost there. I wanted to... I'm going to have to edit this video to get it under 30 minutes, I think. the right way there are a lot of these enchanted swords enchanted enemies man it hit me with that concussion shot again keep them in the aoe Cool thing about this mantra recovery actually is it's not just mesmer skills, it's all skill or all spells, not just mesmer spells. So it would be it would be a good spell to have for incorporating elementalist spell, uh, spells. I could spam things like whatever. All my all my usual long cooldown spells, I can suddenly spam them more. Have to look into that mantra of recovery uh, synergies. If anyone has some recommendation how to utilize mantra of recovery best, like with 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 which other class, uh, let me know. Asking the. I'm asking comments, help in the comments quite a bit. I do know that, but I'm curious. There's a lot of information out there. I have so many forgotten seals, but I haven't found a collector for them yet. Bet you there's one coming up. That dazed spell really screws up my casting. I think when you're dazed, it makes your spells cast longer also. I wonder if that stacks with Arcane Conundrum. 
Imagine putting Daze and Arcane Conundrum on an enemy. That'd be really annoying. Might be a good, um, for like a Ranger Mesmer build. Ranger Mesmer interrupt build. You get, uh, you cast Arcane Conundrum and then use Concussion Shot. That would totally shut down a caster. Just thinking out loud here. Oh, we're here. Man, that took forever. Talk to this Uterit Ignis. I think I'm going to need to speed up some sections to get this uh, travel time down. Whoa, that's a nice one. I don't have any Jade Mandibles, but cool. Good to know. Oh, we made it. Very good. We did our plus 15 attribute quest. Now there's one more of those remaining that we will be able to do later on in the Shiver Peaks. But more importantly, we made it to Dunes of Despair, our third mission area, which will be where we start our next episode. So thanks again for watching this one. Hopefully you guys are sticking around. I'm getting I'm getting antsy trying to uh, looking forward to getting to the last stretch of this playthrough very exciting stuff so yeah if you like it stick around like and subscribe all that stuff i'll see you guys next time bye